Now for more on the economic ties between China and Spain, we're joined by Klaus Lares, Professor of History and International Affairs at the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill. So let's start with President Xi's address. What did it indicate about the potential for stronger China-Spain ties? Yeah, China is highly interested in increasing its uh, trade relations with Spain and uh, the other way around. Spain has the same interests. Already last year, uh, Spain's exports to China increased by over 28 uh, percent. That's uh, quite a, uh, a significant number, and there's potential for that to be increased further. So both sides are clearly interested in that. And uh, Xi Jinping's uh, speech, uh, siding firmly with the forces of globalization, uh, reminded us really of his speech in Davos. So he's taking on uh, protectionism. And of course, the whole visit needs to be seen in the context of the trade conflict, the trade war with the United States. So given that backdrop then, talk about Spain's trade relationship with China over the years and where it could now be heading. Um, well, traditionally, uh, um, uh, China delivered uh, agricultural products to, to Spain, and uh, tourism was very strong. But increasingly, in the last few years, uh, China has also expressed interest in Spanish engineering firms and other high-tech uh, uh, companies. And I think that is a trend of the future, that these traditional industries still play a role, like agriculture, of course, but that really China is uh, focusing on high-tech industries in all of Europe, including in Spain. That is where really uh, uh, Spain is of interest to China. And uh, the other way around, agricultural products uh, are very important for Spain. And the famous uh, jamón, the famous uh, Spanish ham, will now export it in large numbers to China. That is regarded as a luxury product in China, less so in Spain. But that is, uh, you know, that is a significant development. And there is always that focus on trade. But what about the importance of things like cultural exchanges and tourism as a way to build ties? Uh, uh, equally, the uh, increase of uh, uh, Chinese tourists who visit Spain is significant. Also, an increasing number of students, can, Chinese students, can be found at Spanish universities. And Spain has a number of very uh, leading, very much leading universities worldwide. So that is of high interest uh, to the Chinese government, to the Chinese people. And the other way around, of course, Spanish tourists are also important uh, for China. And I think it is really, uh, we did, the whole visit has to be incorporated in that uh, battle between globalism and uh, protectionism. And I think uh, the visit really significates uh, 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 that. And in that same vein, we know that China's Belt and Road Initiative is a high priority. How do you see Spain's involvement in, in that initiative impacting both economies? Yeah, uh, as you know, the Chinese government would like to get as many EU countries as possible to endorse the uh, uh, Belt and Road Initiative. So far, more or less 12 have probably endorsed the initiative. Uh, Spain is not among these countries, and Ch uh, Spain has, uh, the government has said that it will not, uh, during Xi Jinping's visit, that it will not endorse the Belt and Road Initiative. However, it has proposed an alternative that is joint Chinese-Spanish projects in third countries. Third countries such as in Africa or in Latin America. So it doesn't want to accept that overall umbrella of the Belt and Road Initiative, but it is quite prepared to cooperate with China on a project basis, on a bilateral basis. And I think that is positive for both sides if real progress can be made. But regarding the Belt and Road Initiative, I do not think that the Spanish uh, government will move here. And of course, it is committed to its EU partners here. The EU as such, as well as leading countries such as Germany and France, France and the UK are very skeptical of the Belt and Road Initiative. And I think uh, the Spanish are really siding with the EU and the leading countries in the EU on this uh, question. Now, Spain may get involved perhaps in some investments. We also know that the ports will also play a big role in this trade relationship. How do you see that working out, not just in the China-Spain relationship, Spain relationship, but China's broader relationship with the EU? Um, yeah, I mean, what we can see, really, we have seen that already since May, since June, since July, ever since the conflict with the United States, the trade conflict ha has escalated, that China is, has really embarked what the media in Europe has uh, termed a, a charm offensive, that uh, China is looking for allies, in particular in Europe, to strengthen its position in that trade conflict with, uh, with, uh, with the United States. And Spain is one of these countries uh, China would like to increase 
increase its uh, friendly relations with. And that is, you know, in a way, no surprise. If you have a conflict with a large partner, uh, a large country such as the United States, you need allies. But the Europeans are put in a very difficult position. They are, of course, traditionally loyal allies of the United States, but they also have very friendly, constructive, large economic uh, uh, relations and also political and cultural relations with China. So for Spain, like for many other EU countries, it is really a, a balancing act. They do, do not want to antagonize the United States. They do not want to antagonize China. But regarding the trade conflict, uh, intellectual property rights, market access, and all these demands, the EU and the most EU countries are siding with the United States. And I think it is an uphill battle for China to convince countries such as Spain or other EU countries to move closer to China in these questions. I cannot see that that will happen. Well, thank you so much for your insights. Professor Klaus Laris there from the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill. You're welcome.